Bruce Wilkins here at your Belfair Learning Center and a part of your golf health and fitness team. And today we're going to be talking about our neck. All right, in our golf swing, we're asking our neck to rotate and flex. Okay, so as a right-handed player, in our backswing, we're rotating our shoulders or our rib cage to the right, but our neck is rotating to the left. We're rotating our neck 80 degrees to the left and then asking it to flex. As we work into impact, our rib cage, our shoulders rotating to the left. However, our neck is rotating to the right and flexing. All right, so if we have a difficult time or we have some limitations that does not allow our neck to rotate left and or right 80 degrees and flex, we see some common swing faults. More often than not, we watch the player actually lose their posture. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about our neck and how we can improve its ability to rotate and flex. Hi, my name is Jess. I'm a physical therapist here at Belfair and part of your golf health and fitness team. Today we're talking about the importance of neck motion throughout your golf swing. So we know we have to be able to look down and rotate to both shoulders throughout the swing. Um, so there's three main motions that kind of make up that full motion for the golf swing which would be flexion, side bending, and rotation of the cervical spine, so your neck um, vertebrae. So for flexion, we need about 80 to 90 degrees. So if you think about looking straight down, your nose should be able to point straight down to the floor. That would get you about 90 degrees. Um, for side bending, which would be taking your ear towards your shoulder, you need about 20 to 45 degrees for that one. Um, rotation is gonna be taking your nose over your shoulder you need about 90 degrees for that one. So when you put all three of those together, you're able to look down and hit your shoulder that way for both sides with the golf swing. Um, so what type of things limit this mobility? Um, we need to look at joint mobility itself. So you have seven cer cervical vertebrae that have to each move on each other to achieve this motion. So the upper ver vertebrae, um, that's gonna work more with rotation, the lower, um, mid to lower is gonna work more um, flexion and side bending, so that way you can achieve the full swing there. Um, the other issue can be flexibility. So the three main ones, the first would be your uh, sternocleidal mastoid, or SCM for short. That runs more in the front, and that helps with neck flexion and rotation to one side. So if one of those is tight, it's not gonna let you go to the other side. Um, the upper trap's a big one as well. It runs right here on the kind of top part of your shoulder. It's not gonna let you side bend um, if that one's tight, as well as your levator scap, which is more on the back side. It helps raise your shoulder blade. If that's tight, it's not gonna let you come down and forward. Um, Chris and Emily are gonna show you some stretches to help with these, and hopefully it's helpful. Hi everyone, I'm Emily, a member of your golf health and fitness team. Today we're talking about flexion, rotation, and range of motion in the neck. So just to get it warmed up, all you have to do is look side to side, as far as you can to one side, as far as you can to the other side. You can do this a few times before you start. Then you're gonna drop your chin to your chest, working that flexion. You can gently grab onto the back of your head and push that chin down a little further. Hold this for 30 seconds before taking it right back up you can look all the way to one side, hold it there, and then put your fingers on your chin and gently push it to the side. You can hold this for 30 seconds before switching to the other side. Make sure your eyes are looking in the direction that you're stretching, and if you feel any pain, you've gone too far. Lastly, we're gonna work the lateral flexion. So go ahead and drop your ear down to your shoulder, separating that space between the other ear and shoulder and you can gently hold on to your head. Hold that for 30 seconds before switching to the other side. After you've done all of these, you can start over and just repeat the sequence. These will help you with your range of motion in the neck and improve your golf swing. 
you can do them two to three times a week, let us know. So now we've learned more about our neck and how we can improve its ability to rotate and flex. Now some of us have limitations and there are workarounds. So here are two small examples. Let's say we have a limitation in our neck's ability to rotate to the left and flex down. All right, so like we talked about before, that's the action that we're asking our neck to perform in our backswing as a right-handed player. So I'm rotating my rib cage, my shoulders to the right, asking my neck to rotate to the left. So if we have a limitation, we can actually preset our neck and or our head slightly to the left to then preset it so it's a lot easier for us to rotate into our backswing without losing posture. All right, and then also opposite. Let's say we have a limitation with our ability to rotate and flex to the right. Again, that would be our impact position. And we can now slightly preset our head to the right so that when we rotate down into our downswing and into impact, once again, much easier for us to perform this action. Therefore, we can work around some limitations. All right, but we encourage you to come visit us. Find out what's unique to you and your golf swing, your body swing connection. And again, our team's here to provide health and longevity in this sport, therefore allowing you to enjoy all that Belfair has to offer.